Hi there. This is Lauren with Posh. If you don't see the live in the corner, then I am no longer live. And I am just gonna grab my epoxy because I need to definitely start that first. So I'm gonna grab that and start mixing. So I may have a little bit of a dilemma because I usually use the um, straight little tumblers rather than this curved thing. Um, and my water slide that I'm using, still hard to see, that light, um, is a little too big, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna attempt to do it, but it probably isn't gonna work. So. I can do that um, tomorrow if anybody cares to see it because I really did want to use that quick coat. So we'll just see what it does, see what happens. And I'm going to go ahead and start mixing my epoxy because I want to um, make sure that this gets good and thick. I forgot my kiddo had basketball practice this evening so I'm gonna have to pick him up in about an hour so we'll see what we can do so yesterday I um, did my base and I'm mixing part B first um, so I glittered my base and tonight we're going to do the chocolate drip which I have not done before I've done the donut icing and I'm pretty confident that it cannot be that much different and I'm definitely mixing a little bit more epoxy than I will need because I would rather have too much than not enough. And I have my warm bath for the epoxy. So I put part B first, part A, and I'm going to sit it in the water and just stir. So we have the uh, coupon code for counterculture. I haven't even um, gotten online yet with that, but I'm definitely going to. Um, so I have the quick coat, the epoxy, um, the uh, armor art, which this is um, something that causes cells. Um, so putting it in the water, it helps activate the two. It warms. It warms both of them up. So it, um, you really don't want to start using your epoxy or applying it until you feel that it is warm. Um, because at that time, you know that both are mixed properly and um, it's just easier to work with. So it kind of, it uh, speeds up the process of A and B mixing together both of them, um, both of them stirring it uh, to become more manageable. <clears throat> You're welcome. Uh, 
Um, so some other things, I don't know how much you all have looked on counterculture if you're really interested, but they have um, the colors. So I got this um, ruby red, which I have not used yet. Flamingo dispersion color and Tsunami. So I am going to play with these once I get caught up on my orders. Um, you can apply that to your epoxy and um, like a glitter flow if you want to do, um, actually my leopard tumbler that I posted, I uh, added a little bit of the armor art and I did not, um, I just mixed it in with some glitter also. But it's um, the magic, not the magic marble, but um, you can, what is that, um, Brandy? What is that tumbler that has, I'm trying, the Milky Way tumbler. That armor art is good to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, do something like that. So I am mixing away. Um, I am going to use Yogi, and this is from Woody's Goodies, the mica powder. And I'm probably going to mix a dash of Copperhead, also from Woody's Goodies, mica powder to create the chocolate. Um, so while this is sitting here, because it has a little bit of time to thicken up, I am going to attempt to put my water slide on my tumbler. And I already know that it's too big. If I, I'm gonna tilt you down. No problem. I was trying to think of what um, the tumbler is called with the like white mixed in, but it's the Milky Way. I'm gonna tilt you down and I am going to, so I have the North Pole. This light is just really not working so much, but so the water slide is a little too big. If it was to be placed up higher, it would probably work. Um, like I said, I have not used this tumbler specifically for this um, water slide. This usually fits my coffee mugs and the, um, what is it? The 10 ounce Ozark, the little short, the low balls. So I'm probably going to, I need to probably reprint this and apply it tomorrow, which is not a big deal. I can still do the chocolate, um, but we'll see. We'll see what it does. I brought it down just in case. Has anyone not done a water slide before? I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, and I'm not even sure that I sprayed this enough, but it's a little bit of a hurry today. So I'm just soaking my water slide. Okay, so I, you need water slide paper. This is a clear that I am printing on. You can use clear water slide on white glitter, anything that's a light color, um, in which I also use clear um, on, I'll put, I'll create like an offset with my vinyl and apply it to a tumbler and then put like a white, use that as my offset and then put the clear on top. So, hopefully you can see. So you just print it on water slide paper, which I get mine from Amazon. And I'm going to apply it to my tumbler. And I really just don't even want it up that high because the chocolate is gonna 
probably get on it. Let's see. And I completely forgot, you want to get your base a little bit wet, so if you do need to move it around. Let's see how this works. Okay, so... Um, yes, you can do it with a regular printer. So you can print your images and then you will take, I just use a clear spray, um, like a, I actually use a um, matte clear Krylon or whatever and you spray the paper and you do it, <clears throat> I do mine about three or four times. <clears throat> and you spray it, not all at the same time, you come back to it three or four times and you spray it and it has, so this is all just, it is the print and then it is the spray paint, the clear. And that is what sets your image. Um, so then I just take this and I squeegee the water out. And I need a paper towel. And I'm just gonna dry it off. And you just want to make sure that it is smooth and there aren't any bumps or water trapped under there. These are really the best things. I just started using this thing after watching another um, video. And this lady, I mean, it was just because I was using the paper towel and sometimes you get like the dust or the little fibers or whatever from the paper towel on the tumbler from wiping it so much. And this is amazing because I always felt like I would pull it with my um, paper towel and this, it actually just smooths right along there. Okay, so that was easy enough. And I don't have any water that is under there. And I brought my quick coat down. I'm just trying, I'm looking at my epoxy to see what we got going on here. And it is thickening up, which is what we want. And I'm actually going to put it in, I'm gonna take some and separate it. I'm gonna grab another couple popsicle sticks and I am going to Put my mica powder now I did use I like I said last night I used the shortcake which is one of our new finds um, the hot pink for the donut tumbler and I put quite a bit in with that and so I am, like, that was a lot of mega powder that I, um, coffee filters. You know, I have yet to do that. And you have said that like 10 times and I still have not done it. So I am definitely going overboard on the mega powder. 
because that is what I did with the glitter and it worked really well. So I am just stirring it up and I want it a little bit thicker. So while this is still setting, let's do the quick coat. Okay, I don't need this water and I know that I will probably fling that up in my face. Okay, the quick coat. This is counterculture. I use it on every single one of my tumblers that I make now. Um, I specifically, when I first got it, I got it for, um, hi Rita, I got it for my um, dips. And then I got to thinking that if I can use it on my dips, why can I not use it on anything else? And then I saw other people reusing it on, any, on everything else. And so I started applying it to um, my tumblers that I did water slides on. I then, started on just applying it to every, I did a coat right before the final coat of all my tumblers. And it just, like I said last night, it's, it's, it's a magic potion. I don't know exactly what it does, um, or how they, how they came up with this, but it's amazing. So what it is, is it's like a barrier for your, um, it provides a barrier that the epoxy grabs onto and, um, like a bridge almost. So if you have something that is going to repel the epoxy, like some fine glitters repel epoxy. I don't know if you've noticed on any of yours that sometime you'll have like you're spinning it it's dry you come back and there's like one little piece of glitter spot and it's like a crater in your tumbler so if you were to apply this it just your epoxy would then I mean you fill in that one spot like a flood coat and then um, just apply it as you would normally and it would be gone it's pretty magical. So I am going to, a little bit goes a long way. So I will show you, I am just using a little dash and I am gonna put some tape on my bottom of my tumbler. And with the quick coat, you can use a, I use this old bratty brush that it, I actually um, used to only seal my wood grain tumblers with. And when you apply it, it looks like you can see brush marks for sure. But then you put your epoxy on and they go away. So, some people use foam brushes. I um, do not use foam brushes on my tumblers because I just have this fear of some of that foam coming off of the brush and getting stuck on my tumbler. Um, oh my goodness, quick coat. You can use it on anything, on any single tumbler that you do. It's a barrier. Um, it is a urethane sealer. Um, it is non-yellowing, so it's just like an extra additive. 
So see this ratty brush, like the handle broke off. This is what I use. And I just dip it on and I just brush. A little bit goes a long way. It is stinky. Um, they do advise you to use it in a ventilated room, which I do have a little vent. It goes in the window, but it's 30 degrees outside and I don't want to lose my heat in here. So I just have not, um, haven't done it yet. Haven't put it in the window. So I just brush it on. You don't have to be um, gentle with it. You just want to make sure that you cover all of your tumbler. Um, this is good for the rims. I make sure that I definitely get the rim very well. But it's very good for your water slides. And if you use your heat gun, you can speed up the drying process, which I will do. And then I might hit my epoxy as well to speed that thickening up. So, and after you're done uh, using the quick coat, you do wanna make sure that if you do intend on using that brush again, or if you use a foam brush, um, you may be able to get multiple uses off of, out of it if you wash it right away. Whatever you use, you do wanna wash it right away because um, it, you're, it, you won't be able to reuse your brush if you accidentally forget about it. Okay, so this is doing good. It's thickening up. I'm going to give my tumbler a quick little spin and get it with my gun. Oh, I got some glitter. Got on my heat gun. I just blew that everywhere. I also like to give my um, water slides a little shot with the heat gun because I don't know if you all have tried this, but it shrinks it up a little bit. Like, a, um, what were those little things that you used to put in the oven? I don't know how many people are as old as I am, but that's what it reminds me of. So I touch it, it's already dry. Oh yeah, Shrinky Dink, that's it. <laughs> the Shrinky Dinks, those were so fun. Okay, so this is thickening still. It's a little bit of a process to get that, and I really should have, um, probably started mixing my epoxy prior to the live, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little layer on my tumbler. So 
some people wait um, 24 hours or I don't know how I've seen a lot of things about people different time frames as far as waiting after putting on a water slide but that heat the squeegee the silicone squeegee and the quick coat do a pretty great job as far as just speeding that along. I have not had one issue. Now I'm applying more down at the bottom of the base and then I'm just going up because I don't want that much at the top since I'm going to be applying my epoxy, the chocolate, since I'm waiting for that to stiffen up. So this could be Where's a little something? Um, this could be the final coat, depending on if you wanted to seal all of the your chocolate and the clear together. I guess just seeing how raised the chocolate is, um, and if it's, I guess it's all a personal preference. Um, if that's something depending on how high you want it to be from your cup. I don't want it to be that much higher. Okay. So when I applied my icing to the donut, I did not spin it. And I still feel like this is not thick enough. Because if I were to apply this now, it would just run. Let's see. some cocoa that I am thinking I could thicken it up that did help. Rita, did you get the um, site to work? Okay, I'm going to apply just a little bit more cocoa in here and I'm going to add another smidge of mica powder. Yeah, that's definitely helping. Um, what was darker, the Yogi or the Copperhead? Okay, I'm going with the Copperhead and I'm gonna put another dash in because you want it thick. And that is what it's doing.
Huh, I wonder if it was something on PayPal's end. I do know that I tried um, creating a shipping, a shipping, uh, printing off my, I was shipping a Tumblr, is what I was doing. I'm so tired, I can't even think straight. So I was um, checking out with the priority shipping that I chose and it wouldn't go through. It gave me some error, but I didn't know, I had never seen any error like that before. And I went to the PayPal help, um, like the community help or whatever. And I'm gonna go ahead and spin this a little bit. Um, they said that the addresses were creating some sort of error that if you lived on, if you were sending to a street, which is the abbreviation, just as anybody's addresses or avenue or whatever, um, it was creating an error. So the lady, I typed in avenue, the whole word, and it went through. It was the craziest thing. I've never had that problem before. And I hadn't had to ship anything since then. I think that that was just at the end of last week. So I don't know if it's still an error or if they fixed it, but that's what I did read. So I didn't know if that was something that was also maybe involved. Okay. So let's see what happens. So I just drizzled. It on. And you make your drizzle however you want because that's another personal preference. And I am going to manipulate my turner to change directions because I don't want this all running. It does need to be a little bit thicker, but for the sake of the live and giving you guys the gist, it's definitely easier to see. So um, with the, when I was doing the donut tumbler, as it starts to get thicker, and if you don't like something, um, you can take your, the other end of your popsicle stick and you can just move it or change whatever you want. You can't hurt it. So if you need to wipe something, then wipe away because while it's thicker it's easier to control and that is what you want because you're the boss of that epoxy And I don't know that I'm really gonna throw some sprinkles on here. I do have those. Um, 
I have the mint sprinkles. Um, so with the sprinkles, there are several shops that sell sprinkles. Um, but a fun little tip that I learned is that you can put real sprinkles on here. And then you just have to make sure that you seal it up. So I'm gonna go just a little bit the other direction and I'm gonna stop. What time is it? It's super easy. You just wipe it on up. So I added extra of the micas and added glitter to get the consistency. And this is the consistency that you want. So you can just apply it however you would like. I make sure that I get the, the edge and then I do the drips. And then you can go back and play with it. You can take your popsicle stick and wipe some up if you want to lessen the drips. And now I'm just gonna go around the whole rim. And make sure that my rim is covered. And then I am just going to play with it until I get it how I like it. And that's it. You just gotta thicken that epoxy up. And um, I know counterculture does have something called a thick, I forget what it's called fix something, but it is made specifically for this. It's supposed to already be like I guess you put it in your epoxy and it you don't have to wait, maybe. I don't know. But that is on my list. Because these are so fun and they're so cute. These are hot cakes during Christmas time. Well, I don't know what the chocolate on it, but the ones just by themselves were huge hits. So I'm just getting a little bit playing with it a little bit to see what type of movement I can get. I know I don't want anything sticking out crazy. 
I just like the nice subtle drip look. are all kind of running together right here to me so I'm just going to take some off and I don't really like them all to be the same length I like them to be different different drips directions Anyone have any questions? From this point on, it's all how you like it. You want to make sure that your rim is smooth. And I will come down here and do a quick once over a couple times to make sure that this is not separating around the rim because I don't want it to be, I don't want my white to show. I want the, the chocolate look. So that's pretty much it guys. I'm going to keep playing with it and clean up a couple spots. But that's all that it is. Just make sure that you thicken your epoxy up or check out that stuff at counterculture, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to maneuver a little bit of this. And if it does get too thick for you, you can take your heat gun to it or your torch. You can still do that. You just don't want to use too much of it because you don't want it to start moving on you because then you will lose whatever you created so that's all if you have any other questions or think of anything that i can maybe help with feel free to comment and i would love if you all shared your hot chocolate tumblers with us they're fun Lots of fun. I did print out my water slide and I made a couple extra just in case this one did not work out because I was scared. I haven't used this, um, this style 
of low ball before. I always had like the the straight low ball, not this curved one. And so I initially in the beginning of the video thought that this was not going to work, but it did, it worked great. Printed out my water slide, applied the quick coat and stirred my chocolate. And then I'm just gonna go in here to fix my drips. Maneuver them around. And that's it. All right, ladies. Thank you so much for joining. And we will chat with you soon. Have a good evening. Stay warm. If you're in uh, a cold place, it's like 30 degrees outside. Like... All right. Have a good night. See you later. Bye-bye. You're more than welcome. Thank you.